next for the following function hx we have a piecewise so from this piecewise we understand that equals to 3 exactly this where 3 value is equals uh, the function is 30 not equals to 3 so the place is not equals to 3 it will be x cubed minus 27 over x minus 3 so every time we get the piece y function we draw the interval so that to help us identify the function correctly according to its interval so for the first question when x approximate 3 of this function hx so what is the value so we have to identify what is the function hx when x approaches 3 so when you get near to the value of 3 so not exactly 3 when you get near to the 3 your function will be x cubed minus 27 over x minus 3 do we need to do left hand side right hand side no need because you notice that your left hand side of the 3 and the right hand side of the 3 they are same function so we can directly do the limit for x approaches 3 for this function directly so we no need to identify left hand side and right hand side so straight away use the function because they're having the same function so to evaluate this try to substitute the 3 you can notice that when you substitute 3 you get 0 over 0 it is idf so therefore to simplify this situation you can notice that this is a fraction and this is an improper fraction where this fraction can be doing long division so x cubed 0x squared 0x minus 27 divided by x minus 3 so we need a x squared as multiplier to get x cubed so once we minus out negative negative become positive continue we need a 3x to time x so that to get 3x times x to get x square 3x square then 3 times 3 here negative 9x 0 minus negative 9 positive then we need a 9 so 9x minus 3 27 So after the long division, what's the result of this long division? Where you can see this is our px over dx means our answer px. When your question is given this form px over dx means your answer you have to give is qx plus rx over dx. So since we don't have reminder, means this part of answer just remain the portion then we substitute the 3 therefore we can evaluate this limit then part 2 is this function hx continuous so the question asks you to verify is it continuous and why so to verify it is continuous or not you have to follow the continuity condition where the first condition you have to show us is the point is it h3 axis so is it h3 defined so look at the look at the functions here when you have h3 exactly x equals to 3 your coordinate is 30 so you have to tell us your value 30 to show that this is this point is defined then second condition is about our limit where we already done it in part one we can notice that the limit of for this function is 27 and then the third condition is we have to look at the point and limit is it same so we can notice that the point does not same as the limit x approaches 3 for this function so we can come up a conclusion say that hx is 
this continuous at x equals to 3.